Hello our viewers, I am Martinis from MediaDate and I want to show you a gameplay video of Skyrim on the PlayStation 3 using some great mods. The first thing I'm going to show you is Odoing being rideable. It is a mod that I released a long time ago on one of the PS3 fan sites. It actually is a skin replacement of Odoing with the one of Odoing. You don't get Oldwin's attacks on your dragon, but since both Odegwing and Oldwin use fire attacks, it is not a big difference, and the only difference actually is your dragon won't be able to cast the Fairy Storm, which is Oldwin's signature move. I'm now going to show you how to make a real-time dragon riding, and this does not require any custom firmware on your console or any mods. All you need is to have the safe on travel option enabled since this is the key for this trick to work. First you need to select the location where you are going to travel to. Then once you select it the game will start warding and this we can bypass at all unless a special mod is installed but unfortunately these mods will not work on the latest Skyrim patch. So we are going to wait for the game to load. Once it loads, we will see the after saving sign, which means that the game makes a save. And this is actually the key for this trick. This is actually the key because uh, we need this save. It will take some time for the game to load, so patience is a necessary thing for this week as well. So now we see after saving, and now we are going to wait for the game to save. And once this is done, we are going to load this save. It will take some time, but it's worth, especially when you make a long trips with your dragon. I myself don't like that. The developers have shut down this ability and we can use the dragon flying us where we want to and instead we instantly teleport to the chosen location after some loading time of course and this is what I don't like I don't like that uh, we can't make our dragon fly where we want to I don't like that uh, we can't make our dragon fly to a custom marker placement on the map and I don't like actually the Dragon Bone DLC Dragon Life feature at all. It 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 could have been better, it could have been really a lot more better and it would be much more cooler if we actually were able to control the dragons where we want to fly and there it goes uh, now the dragon will start traveling to the chosen location before we made all these safe load tricks say that I'm going to be attacked by a legendary dragon and my dragon won't respond because it actually has to travel there and if I decide to respond I will have to make the ball tweak again and have some loading times as well you, you see however there are some downfalls and the first one is that while traveling your game may occasionally freeze at points. This is due to game trying to load textures 
and because of the speed the dragon travels the same thing happens when you ride a running horse and at points the game will freeze for some seconds until it actually wards the textures and the area which you approach this is normal and won't break your game other than your patience but I myself care not because most times these things doesn't happen so often and it actually depends and the other thing as you see is that you see your dragon does not move as fast as you want again this is because of the warding and trying to prevent those freezes I remember there was a mod uh, for the dragon riding which allows player to control the dragon to fly where he wants to but uh, this mod will not work on the PlayStation 3 since it does require a Skyrim script extender and this tool only works on the PC And I myself uh, have seen that uh, a lot of PC fans hate on console fans, especially Skyrim mod supporters, because they don't like their mods being used uh, on consoles. Uh, for example, the Skyrim Nexus site uh, actually hates on console gamers, and I, I myself was banned from their site just for mentioning that I use a PS3 and I was I got an instant ban and the, the reason was that the reason they say to me was a console gamer and yes I am a console gamer but I don't hate PC gamers like they hate on us and I, I myself am very disappointed from the Skyrim Nexus sites and the staff members there. There are some great developers there. I really contact with them. I speak with them. They are kind and great people. But the staff of this site I, I myself don't like. And I'm disappointed by its staff members. So if you decide uh, to go to Skyrim Nexus site, uh, Mod Nexus, whatever the, ca the name was, uh, uh, be careful never to mention that you are a console gamer because you will get an instant ban. If you decide uh, to visit our site datehacks.freeforums.org uh, you can contact me at any time, I will be glad to respond to you and help you how to install mods on your Skyrim for the PlayStation 3. Uh, if you are a PC game fan, you can actually Google the way to install mods on your PC. I won't be helping there because uh, I, I don't have a powerful PC. and. I don't have Skyrim on PC as well, I only have Skyrim on PlayStation 3 and this is why I want to show you mods working on PlayStation 3 and not on PC. If you actually decide to uh, attack a target, uh, you will actually have to repeat the war progress of this trick in order to continue traveling to where you want it to be with the dragon. But I'm not going to do this, I'm going just to attack those NPC characters. Since uh, uh, this video I want to show you other mods as well. There is a very good mod uh, which is known as Dragon Priest Armor. 
I really love this mod because uh, it gives my character a very unique appearance and uh, the Dragon of Twist Armor is very cool and I, I really don't like that uh, we can't actually load it for the actual Dragon Priest. You actually see that my character does wear a dragon priest cloak and armor. These are two different mobs which work together like a brother and sister, but combined they make a full dragon priest armor which will make your character unique. I'm going to use and another very good mod known as Polymorphy. This mod allows me to transform to anything I want. All I need to do is actually cast the set form spell on a chosen non-playable character and then I will be able to transform to that non-playable character using his stats like power, magic and stamina and I actually play as this non-playable character and if I die, if the character dies my character will die as well because uh, actually this mod uh, doesn't actually transform you it just places the non-playable non character under your control while your character is uh, made invisible and if the non-playable character, the creature you have chosen to transform to dies, your character will unfortunately die as well. So I had to make some to download some other mods to keep my character not dying. And there this is Karstar. He is one of the most powerful enemies on Skyrim. And since I can summon him, I can actually set form, set his form on my spell list and I can actually transform to him as well at any time and it will act just like as I have summoned him but instead I control him. You see that uh, if you use polymorphy you can't attack at your own will but in my case I can attack because I also use another mod but uh, I'm going to speak about this mod in another videos I'm going to share with you so You see that uh, car stack actually keeps his own spells like the blizzard and like the frost walk and he summons ice raids around him and it's cool mod polymorph is a very great mod uh, because it allows you to play as any creature or non-playable character and it uh, doesn't glitch the game unlike other shapeshifter mods and especially its latest version 5 is which I use and which does not have any glitches at all. Now I'm going to tell you that you need a custom firmware on your console installed in order to be able to edit the Skyrim mini file where you can add up to 10 lines for each mod which means you're limited unfortunately only to 10 mods for your entire Skyrim game but uh, the other method involves editing the update.esm file which will work on official firmware as well 
but it's more harder because it can break your game and if you are not careful editing the update file you can make a very big glitches to your save as well Now I'm going to search for some enemies in order to show you more of the polymorphic mod but uh, you will see that uh, I'm going to meet with Those some guards and wait for Hello, the bad world on the wrong move of them but they don't uh, actually challenge me at all. that one from the college. I heard about you. This is Avrak uh, and every Skyrim player who has the down guard DLC installed on Skyrim will know of it this horse is a dead horse and it does fit to my character because my character is a dragon priest and not an actual dragon priest because I can actually transform to a real dragon priest and fly around but uh, my character is a living dragon priest <laughs> as you can see not an undead dragon priest and there it goes I'm going to use polymorphic power again This is Karstak again, just like if I have summoned him, he appears the same way. He always casts a wizard when he when I'm off to him, but uh, I also like the others summon ice raid spell he has and the first quark is infinite to him. I don't think my enemies had any chance to win this battle at all. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel, rate and post your comments under the video. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to contact me. I will gladly respond to you and how you can use these mods on your PlayStation 3 console. If you need any help at all, just private message me or contact me on the forums. Link will be shown under the description of this video as well. This is uh, the Forge Master, but uh, if you want to see how he fights while I control him, you will have to see the whole video. Thank you very much. I hope you liked this video. And have fun.